I oh. want it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello, hello, bonjour, merci, not merci, guten tag, and welcome on board our final at sea day on the MSC Magnifica for our first ever Europe cruise. I'm Dave K, and you are looking at hitting that subscribe button, and then you're going to go ahead and do it, and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures, hit the like button, that'll keep you informed of all the future fun coming your way, lots of future fun, so hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell. Today, we are off to get some breakfast. I got up early enough this morning to finally catch the sit-down table service breakfast, and yes, I'm combing my hair at the same time for you, just so we can, so you can enjoy my hair combing process, but also so we can make that breakfast, because time is limited. It goes from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., so I want to make sure I catch it. I've got this puffed. Don't just ignore the puffed over there. And we'll be on our way to enjoy some delicious breakfast. I've got a fun-filled day planned, lots of activities. I think lots of games in the Tiger Bar, some dance classes. I'm not sure if it's a show or like a lobby-type show, but it sounds like we've got our really good opera singers going on in the lobby. And... The final logistics. I think I get a photo and some other things. I'm gonna pack my bags. No! Maybe I'll do that in the middle of the day. I'll have a fun filled day. Let's get to it. Oh, you're still recording? Oh, okay. One beautiful, magnifica view outside my window this morning, and we'll be on our way for some food. Let's get it. Now, if you know me, I'm a curious gent, and I ask a lot of questions. So I asked some friends in the hot tub yesterday if breakfast is different every day in the table service venue, and they said no, it's pretty much the same thing every day. They just have a couple of additional options, like French toast and stuff, so we'll have to see if we can check out the new things. But otherwise, if we've done it once, it sounds like we'll probably have done it all. And where am I right now, you may ask? Nowhere. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we have our breakfast menu. You'll see, he did, my server did confirm it's the same menu every day. So maybe the French toast, I heard that is nice. Oh, Belgian waffle does sound good too, though. I don't know if it's the same as upstairs waffle, though, because that one's only okay. So, selection of pastries, they just brought us some of those. Oh, and then look at that, you have herrings, for example. Wow, for breakfast? <laughs> I don't think I could eat that this early, but I haven't seen it anywhere else, so I'm, I'm tempted, I'm not gonna lie. We are going all in for the breakfast here. We've got the French toast, we've got a custom omelet, and I put a few things in there, and we also have the muesli. I ordered the muesli as well. And also, this is where they have the American coffee. Nice that the American coffee is listed on my little things available, <laughs> I guess the breakfast thing. And then you have your jams on the side, that's nice. I actually haven't tried those from upstairs. I don't know if they're the same. Now here they bring up these little cups instead of that big old bottle. So you got a bunch of different juices, as well as water. You got the same ones you have upstairs. But I wanted water, so <laughs> I did. Ladies and gentlemen, for breakfast, we have that French toast looking real nice and juicy over there. We have the muesli. Look at this nice thick boat of muesli right here. And we have that custom omelet with the hash browns on the side. You know what seems strange to me is the hash browns upstairs, if you ask me, are actually significantly better than these hash browns. So I think I'll probably leave these hash browns. Uh, but the omelet is quite nice. I like the custom omelet. You know, not only do you get to choose your fillings, but it also seems a good bit fresher. So, omelet's definitely a winner here. Hash browns, I say, save for upstairs. Let's dig into the other two, let you know what we think. This French toast is really easy to cut through. Something tells me it's gonna be a winner. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, that, that French toast is delicious indeed. Extremely soft, cooked beautifully. Cut right through it practically with your fork if you want to. And it's got a nice subtle flavor to it, not overly sweet. There is some syrup on it, but it doesn't seem too, too sweet. So I like that one. I would get this again, as well as the omelet. No hash browns. Mmm, that muesli is nice as well. Like a nice fruity and flavorful oatmeal in there with your nuts and your raisins. It's like a nice merger of an oatmeal and a cereal. You know, you got that creaminess to it but it's also uh, got some pieces going on. I enjoy that. I think you got three winners here. It really just depends on your style, depends on your mood, or eat all three. <laughs> a little bit less in terms of drink service, but otherwise the food is definitely superior. If you ask me in the breakfast cafeteria, would recommend grabbing a seat if you're interested. Looks like we're catching the last bit of the stretching session too. Cool to see this going on here they have in the mornings. Oh, America, good morning. Good morning, America. Oh. Thank you! Oh my god, we have a winner! Come here! Thank you. We got David! It's a little ship! My goodness! 
Let's check out a little squishy ship here. Love it. I'm your personal blogger. Personal blogger sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now from here, go. I like it, I like it. Uh, no. Uh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. That's right. It's like, oh, oh, so so I was in the shop. I'm in the shop right now. Oh, 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 oh. Take a look here at the uh, daily teens and kids program. I'm taking a break from the games just to show you this one. Dormyland. Very cool. That, that seems very interesting how they've got all those different activities with kids here. Oh, oh my god. Remember the roots. Try to do it correctly. Please remember that you can also go to the back. Huh? So you can open up gates again. Eh? That is me for sure because I listen. No. Ah, don't say which one is right one. Oh, so close. Good. I put my hand at the end. Here. And then we went up here. Yes, yes, yes. I think maybe this one or maybe this one. I don't know, you have to choose. Two. Maybe count one. Maybe that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's it. One. Try. Is this? This. Two. Yeah. We did diagonal. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Share one, one all by yourself. Hey, no pressure. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. 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 You like it? Uh, oh, the demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. Snail. 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 So much to do and see. I love all those games and the team here is super fun too. Not to mention, I really enjoy the towel folding. We've seen a little bit more in former venues we've been on cruise ship wise, but really, really cool to see the ones they can make here as well. Overall, lots of fun today. So much to do and to see. I'm gonna try to grab my photo from the elegant night that they took for me, which is included with my Fantastica Pass, I believe. All right, so nothing too unusual <laughs> for MSC. Uh, to them, it didn't seem like I had the photo included. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at my paperwork and show them if it is included. <laughs> Number one, uh, number one. Alright, so we got These are not easy. I can't quite tell where we are. Alright, so we're gonna go Iceland? to the next one approximately. No. So number seven. <laughs> Too fast. Personally, I feel like it's impossible right, to tell so where these blobs are from. I, I have no idea here. It's just blobs on a map. And you can see I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So yeah, I guess we'll just go with something and, and see what happens. Argentina! Come on! Close there. Okay. Yeah, I, I should have seen that one coming. Indonesia. 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 Here we go. Bermuda. United States. United States. <laughs> Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Wow. Wow. Is it Germany? Germany. Gotcha. Ah. Jesse. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here on our left, nice quiet today in the pool. Or it's at least uh, sounds quiet. So I guess it does seem pretty busy in terms of occupants. And this is the outdoor pool too. So 
nice ocean view. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee. Still uh, waiting on the recrediting, but I might go swimming afterwards too, because I have a nice chunk of break here. Oh, and lunch too, I gotta do that as well. Walking through the buffet, grabbing myself a cup of coffee. Cool to see, they got some tasty looking desserts today, indeed. I'm thinking I will take this cup of coffee and maybe change up for some pool time. I got a good few hours before any more games continue, and uh, I'm still waiting for the re refund for that credit so that I can uh, give some tips to servers and such. So, kind of on hold. So I'm gonna make my way to the room and change up for the pool and enjoy some pool time and enjoy a cup of joe while we go. And the outside view is nice, I must say. I think it's warmer today, seven degrees Celsius instead of like zero we had in Hamburg. So maybe I'll sit out there for a bit. Oh man, silly, silly me, I forgot lunch. <laughs> I hope it, I make it in time for this lunch. Take a look at the menu for lunch today. Glad we made it in time. You can see a variety of options. I'm not sure what's good. So we'll have to see what sounds good. It was the shrimp and vegetable salpicon, or salpicon, I have no idea. The Mongolian style beef he recommended. I was looking at the red mullet, which I assume is fish as well, but beef should be good. And then the fantasy sundae, because you gotta do those ice creams, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the shrimp and vegetable cap caprichon. It's a very unique dish indeed, I would say. Lots of, uh, it reminds me of like, what is that, that, that uh, shrimp that you dip in like the marinara sauce at the parties. It's not bad. It's not a bad dish, especially the, the further I get into it, I would say you do have that like light, I don't know, I guess it's a shrimp salad kind of flavor. <laughs> kind of light freshness, maybe like some oil going on there, the green, I think maybe a pesto sauce. It's not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, we started it off with the South Asian dishes. Let us finish it with the South Asian dishes. It's not over though. <laughs> it's not over. It's not over. You have the Mongolian beef here. We set it digging. Let's know what we think. Didn't realize the veggies are mixed in there with the beef. Looks quite tasty. I'm not sure what that sauce is on the top, like a, a salted or something. <laughs> What's coming out of my hands here? Breadcrumbs. Let's dig in, let you know. Mongolian beef here is not bad. Not bad. I wouldn't say it's my favorite by any means, but, but not bad. Um, it's a little bit hard to chew through, you know, it's a little bit um, more firm of the meat and probably could have a little bit more like sauce flavor going on in there, but overall, I'd say uh, this is the job. <laughs> not on the higher end of my uh, entree options thus far, but yeah, you know, I don't hate it. Interesting observation here with the Mongolian beef. As you dig deeper in it, you actually find there's more like, more softly cooked and more flavor for beef. So maybe you kind of dig past the shell layer and you get the good stuff on the inside. That's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the dessert, the Sunday here, whatever the Sunday was called, with coffee, ice cream, caramel sauce and all that. Let's give it a shot. Let you know. Not a bad Sunday. You know, the desserts are always good. But it just doesn't hold a candle to the other ice cream flavors we've had. You know, the other Sundays, pistachio, nochola, you know, hazelnut still being a few of my favorites. It's got like Rice Krispies in there. Um, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> it's a unique combination. Not, I mean, again, I, I'll eat it. But uh, yeah, I definitely preferred the other ones. No! It's the disembarkation info. I've got my number here for my luggage. I only have one. That's fine. I got all the infos. I'll have to read through this. Okay, so they've updated my bag tag for me. 44. Now, Get back to the game. Actually, I have to set this new thing up and then get back to the games. Let's do it. Next Trivia right now is currencies. They're changing up to the next one. I'm gonna take it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot to see how it goes. I think that's a queen, so we'll see. These are pesos. Pesos. Very interesting. Interesting, this one here. Rock formation, $500. Uh, it's got a governor. And one more left. I jumped in a little bit late here, but let's see how many of them I managed to get right this time around. Uh, I put Korea randomly for the first two, so I mean, you gotta give me some credit for completely blind for the first two. Is he gonna make it? Is he not gonna make it? There he goes. I know. You can fall over the world, but okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is this kind of all is and all is. Thank you. I am vlogging. Yes, indeed. Okay. Good time. So tomorrow, everybody has our Lydia the boots. See? Woo! Nice
do we think? It's like a fruity, it's full of tequila. It's good. Take a look at this delicious looking beverage that we won for cheering nice and loudly while we were watching that event. Really, really cool to see. I'm told my tongue is blue. Does it look blue to you? Can you see? It doesn't seem that blue to me, but maybe a little bit. Either way, lots of fun here on the cruise. Now making our way to the lobby for that opera show type thing. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, my name is Derek. I'm the singer of the show. Oh, I'm not going to be here. Awesome to see this singing here. I wouldn't put it at the same level personally as like the, uh, the theater shows, but still really, really enjoyed it. Uh, fantastic experience. And I still had my beverage, so I was enjoying that while we were watching the show. So hopefully it came out decently with the view there. Again, it was a lot going on in the lobby. So, you know, kind of tougher to, to hear it all perfectly because lots of people having side chats and such, but really, really cool one to see. The final show here. We get to meet the captain <laughs> since Hamburg is the main port. And the master of the MSC Magnifica, Captain Giacomo Romano. Tomorrow you are leaving, is correct? Yeah. So I hope that you really enjoy this cruise. Arrivederci. That means that I would like to see you again. Thank you very much for being with us. Bye. Ciao. So the on the fantastic show unfortunately the last one for us here we always run into this issue after the shows <laughs> it's a packed theater space so i'm taking the stairs i'm up four flights so far two more to go not too bad but you gotta be in practice <laughs> for it for sure you know it's, it's taking me more than it used to I used to fly up six flights of stairs but you know been lazy been eating too much <laughs> So, really, really nice time. Looking forward to grabbing dinner. Upon arriving in my room, I discovered that I will need to check out with the UK Border Control Services tomorrow morning as well on our way out. So we'll have to do that, probably even before breakfast, quite honestly. Yeah, but looking forward to making our way onwards, editing these videos for you, you know, getting back to work, getting to our next adventure, starting to save up and plan for that next adventure, and... Off to dinner tonight. The party's not over. All right, here we are for that dinner time. Take a look at the Mediterranean menu tonight. I'm thinking this calamari. It sounds like that was recommended as well. Boom, tapas sound really good too though. You got your lasagna, your paella, your salmon filet. The menu is supposed to be really good tonight, Mediterranean night. Uh, it's gonna be baklava, which you've got tiramisu and kombus as runners up. And then rum raisin is the ice cream of the night. Oh my gosh, it's a dangerous menu for our final evening. It's been fun. Little candles here as napkins. I like that. Nice styling. Oh, hard to believe it's the final night. Lots of candles for us in celebration. I got a couple of breadsticks for my bread. He thought that was funny. 
This is mostly kids, I think, do the breadsticks, but let's give it a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the calamari. It has the similar vegetables we had from the fish, the fried fish, if you recall. I thought they were nice veggies, too, so excited to dig into this one. I'll let you know what we think. This is nice as well, I gotta say. Nice calamari. Definitely prefer this to the, uh, the cold plate variety we tried previously. Nice flavor to it, nice and toasty with some spices in there. And the shrimp and such as well, very good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Spanish tapas. My server's hooking me up tonight <laughs> with all the things. It's a cold plate and you've got your salami, prosciutto, aged cheese, and so much more. I'm gonna let you know how it goes. Spanish tapas plate, not bad. I must say, I do like the flavor, salami, cheese, and the bread with the veggies on it. Go well together, you know, you mix them up back and forth. I'm not a huge prosciutto person myself. If I had to choose between the two, I'd go calamari, just because I love seafood so much. But not bad, by any means, definitely enjoy the Spanish tapas plate as well. Two solid options for appetizers. This is the menu to look out for. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, take a look at the lasagna. Looks delicious in this Eve, a nice chunky piece there. We'll uh, dig in and let you know what we think. Yes, it's a fistful, fistful of lasagnas. Let's do it. This is a nice lasagna, indeed. They came around with some extra cheese. Put that on there for you. It's got a really nice flavor to it. You got your marinara and your like spices going on. It's a good chunk. I would say top five for me for an entree. And I'm not just talking about dinners when I say that, right? Lunches and dinners and all that I've had entree-wise. It's, it's top tier uh, of the options. Very good. I like it. Take a look at the delicious looking baklava here. So excited to dig into this one. And you have your rum raisin ice cream on the side. It's too much sugar. <laughs> Let's dig in. Let's know what we think. Ooh. Those uh, those raisins and ice cream are ice cubes. Indeed, they're frozen solid, but it's not bad. Not a bad ice cream. I wouldn't say it's my personal favorite, but I have the rum flavor is kind of nice, actually. Yeah, not a bad option for ice cream if you're looking for some good flavors. The baklava is nice, although I guess maybe I'm spoiled because <laughs> I've had some amazing baklava in life. So, not like my favorite ever baklava, but very nice. Kind of funny, actually, to think maybe this is the one meal where. You know, the dessert isn't the king of the meal. It's not bad, but the lasagna was pretty good too. And the whole meal was great, I gotta say. Film myself, yeah, is that okay? Mask off. It's been fun, and it was a tasty dinner to wrap it up, but let's see if I can catch one more show here. They were supposed to be doing some sort of stuff in the Amethyst Lounge, so we'll see how that goes. Flower Glory is the name of this evening's festivity. We'll check it out here once the dance party is over. Okay, who do you think? Juan. Juan. Oh, that's nice. For bed and for the evening but i really did enjoy that um that flower party tonight what a fun-filled festivity indeed i was advised there might be some flash dance type thing and there was you had the whole seemed like entertainment cast they call themselves animation i'm not sure what's up with that why they're animators because i was like oh you do animation and they're like oh yeah here's what we're doing for animation it's games and stuff I'm like oh i don't think animation means what you think it means <laughs> but really really nice animation team they did some amazing dances and all that. Really, really great dancers and choreography and all that. And extremely friendly cast here as well. You know, always trying to get everybody involved and hyped up and having a great time, which I really, really enjoyed. Probably one of my favorite uh, late night, you know, dance parties right there, because you got to see them do that whole gig for a while, as well as you had that, that live music and quite a bit of participation uh, with the live music and performers up there. Really good live music, too, I must admit. I thought that there was a, some recorded audio in the background, but it seemed like... That was all them in terms of playing those entire songs. If I was 
not mistaken. Like maybe there was a little bit of background music, but yeah, great band there too. Really enjoyed them. Overall, an incredible cruise adventure. Just great evening. Meeting great people, met some great guests, you know, made, met some great employees, some great crew. Maybe you'd call them. Did I say cast? I don't know. Everybody was great. Everybody's super friendly, you know, and I really, really enjoy that. Nice way to get to know some peeps. Um, maybe we'll do a recap in the future. What would I do? Would I do this the same way? Would I do it differently? What are the big things I'd like to change? Maybe we can talk about that at a later point. But I'm going to prep for bed now, call it an evening. And tomorrow is full of travel indeed. In fact, <laughs> you're going to find it's not just one easy travel adventure. You might have multiple days of travel adventure just to get me back to the States. Uh, so arduous journey ahead. But we'll make it work. So looking forward to sharing all the future fun with you. Tomorrow begins our de disembarkation day. So I'm going to share that journey with you in the morning. And thanks so much for helping me make it an amazing day today. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day as well. Focus on the positive vibes. Look for the silver lining in everything you do. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed on future adventures coming your way. You got that? Subscribe. There's a bell. And then big thumbs up button. That should be good. Thanks so much, and until next time, make it an amazing day, and play on.